So as I said, I'm here on the location that I uh, bought pretty much. I used to vault it, but now I bought it. And I'm going to show you how to reset all the master passwords and all everything. If you get a brand new location, maybe you don't know the master password, maybe you don't know any code whatsoever. I'm going to show you how to do it. First things first, you got to bring your laptop or whatever and register our TID or terminal ID number and then start reprogramming the ATM. We got a TID number, then get yourself a SD card, has to be specific, ask your processing company, you gotta be max 2 gigabytes from what I've been told, load in the software in there, and I'm gonna show you how to load it. It doesn't go this way, don't force it, it goes the other way. Now we're just gonna load its thing and it's gonna be a brand new load with default master, everything's gonna be default. If the owner, like in this case, the owner will vote the money you gotta give him W9 and a exhibit three and I believe exhibit two. This is exhibit two. So he gotta fill all of that so he can be able to vote the cash. So I'm gonna leave that paper to the owner so he can fill it in. Which is a normal screen where, you know, normal password, the default one is five, 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 five. And we're into the menu. It's a brand new software, version 39, if you're familiar with Gen Mega, I mean, it makes mistakes. Uh, I, did up set up, I did set up a terminal ID and I click wireless, actually this connection here is internet, it's with a cable, so you gotta click internet. And if it's dial up, which I had to deal with one my first dial up earlier this week, you click dial up. It's finished programming it, don't forget your SD card, because you might need it. I honestly thought I forgot it on my previous location. And now we're gonna, pull, we're gonna put some money in and we're done. The ATM, everything's dispensing properly. And we're good to go. Here, I'm making half of this location. The owner puts his own cash in. I gave him instructions. I got the paperwork ready in my hand to, uh, so I can submit it to the processor. And now I just wait for money to come in without me even coming back to the location. Specific location I bought for $1,500. I might be repeating myself at this point, but uh, the actual owner didn't really take care of it. And this owner said to me a few times, Christian, can I work with you? You're very good to work with, we're very fast. So deliver to your customers, deliver quality, and they will wanna work with you. And they might find you more business into this niche or whatever niche you're doing. I think I've mentioned that, but actually I'm working on four properties to buy from the same owner. I have actually made a video about those four properties. I'm gonna leave a card up here and a link down below. So make sure you check it out after you finish with this video. And we just met kind of by accident, like one of the neighbors in one of my properties mentioned something, we, we met with the owner. so. I'm saying just be a decent human being, do do good business and people will see it, value it and uh, they'll find you more work. So if you want to follow more advice and want to learn more about the ATM business or the real estate business, I suggest you watch channels like mine. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe, like the video, leave me a comment if you have any questions. I try to answer all of you, which usually I get three comments, so it's not that hard, but uh, keep hustling guys and I'll see you in the next video.